Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Wingo World. I am your boy, Dale Wingo. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm running a little behind on my videos. I know I said I'll be back in mid-April. It's now first of the 1st of May, 2024. So I'm a little behind. And I'll catch up this week, hopefully. Um, excuse the lighting. I'm in the shade, and I may not come across very bright. So I apologize for that. But I did want to get this video in, and uh, it's a little noisy in my apartment, so... I came outside, and, and that's why I'm here. Anyway, uh, last time we spoke, I mentioned that I was going to have breaking news, right? So the breaking news is, as you can tell, one, I'm back home in Las Vegas. Uh, I go from 40 degrees and windy in Kodiak to 92 degrees and hot <laughs> in Vegas, and that's where I am now. I uh, left uh, Silver Bay on my own nickel. And uh, I had the option to, so the way HR put it to me is I can either leave for two weeks on vacation, unpaid, paid by myself to travel, or I can apply for a leave of absence if my leave is going to be longer than two weeks. Uh, both of those would allow me to come back, uh, have a, uh, I can return next year if I chose. Um, or I can just quit and roll the dice for whether I can come back or not. But uh, circumstances warranted that uh, I leave right away. So whether I can come back next year or not remains to be seen. That's okay. There's plenty of companies out there. As much as I like Silver Bay, uh, there's plenty of companies out there, especially in A season. Now, this year I didn't make as much as I did last year. Uh, last year in 11 weeks, I made just under 16 grand. This year, in 14 weeks, I made just over 14 grand. So uh, the money wasn't a, wasn't as good, but I was still happy to get it. Um, the last week, as a matter of fact, the last week I was there, the last eight days, we only worked one day out of those eight days. So I could have left a week ahead of time if I wanted to and cut down my uh, – and uh, uh, grew my time to wage ratio, but – that last week when we didn't do anything hurt my time to work to wage ratio to the point where it made it look like I was there for longer than I should have been and made no money. So I don't know if that makes sense to you, but that's how I'm calculating it. Nevertheless, that is um, breaking news number one. Breaking news number two, and half of y'all knew that. The people I worked with already knew. The people I was cool with already knew that I was leaving. Um, and... Uh, most of the people at home already knew that I was coming home. Part two is some of you also already know, because if you read the comments of previous videos, you'll see that I say, I'll see you there. I'll see you there. I'll see you there. I am going back to AGS Knack Knack in June for summer salmon season, sockeye salmon season. So um, I haven't got my itinerary yet. They sent out a bulletin saying, don't stress. They're working on a new system. They'll send out the itinerary shortly. But as soon as I get that, I kind of figure it'll be mid-June, hopefully a little earlier, but I'm kind of figuring mid-June, they'll fly us out there to work five weeks uh, salmon season. Now, I did hear that if you're in your second year or longer, after you finish your five weeks, they may offer you to transfer for August to work in a different location up until September 5th. So we'll see how, since this is my second season, we'll see how that works out. Um, I wouldn't mind transferring because August is a really hot month in in um, <laughs> Las Vegas. And truth be told, I'd rather be a knack neck Now, um, those of you going to knack neck if you see me, say what's up. I'll be more than happy to talk to you. And, um, you know, uh, maybe we can get to learn a little something from each other, okay? Now, um, knack neck will... Knack Knack versus AGS Knack Knack versus Silver Bay Kodiak. The difference. Silver Bay Kodiak is a lot smaller. Uh, even though the season's longer, it's a lot smaller because um, there's only about 100 people that are from the lower 48 or that are brought there. The rest are all locals. The other 200 people or so are locals. So there's only about 100 people that are from the lower 48, so it's a lot smaller, maybe 300 people total. 
Knack Knack, when you do salmon season, there's about 600 people. Some places have 900 people. Now, Knack Knack AGS has 600. I heard that Knack Knack Silver Bay has like 900 from the cook that that worked in Kodiak, and now he's going to Knack Knack uh, this, this summer. He said they do about 900 people uh, serving-wise. That's crazy. So um, there's a lot of people, and a lot of times I don't get to see everybody because – we're all going outside to see if we're working a shift, and then we're all working a shift, and then we're all asleep. So, Knack Knack is bigger. Uh, their lunch staff is bigger. Their warehouse is bigger. Um, the hours are longer. and But Kodiak, there's more chances to work. Kodiak, there's more to do when you're not working. Kodiak is an actual city or town with stuff you can do when you're not working. Knack Knack, you're basically in a fishing camp, and there's virtually nothing to do unless you're willing to walk a half a mile down the road to the general store or the internet cafe or some pizza joint or the library, which is the size of a one-bedroom house. Um, so, yeah, and mm, Knack Knack, uh, their facilities are a little bit better. Most of them are two-man rooms. The laundry's at the end of the hall. For free, you do it at your own leisure, and the bathroom's right at the end of the hall, and uh, so you have a little bit more privacy. Kodiak, you have uh, anywhere from two to seven roommates, and uh, the bathroom's in the room. Uh, the laundry, you have to drop off to the laundry lady most of the time at on your specific laundry day based on your room, or they have stipulations where you can drop it off otherwise, but usually it's during your during your work day, during your uh, assigned day. And um, Kodiak, the kitchen's only open twice a day. Knack Knack AGS, the kitchen's open four times a day. Um, now, I don't want you to get confused. Though. Like, I'm not comparing. These are basically apples that I'm just comparing seasons or more, more or less locations and seasons to location and season. I'm not comparing company to company because I heard Knack Knack, Knack Silver Bay is the same as Knack Knack AGS. So I'm not comparing, oh, AGS is better than Kodiak. Where I'm going is better than where I'm leaving, is basically what I'm saying. So before you say, oh, uh, AGS is better. AGS, the facilities are a lot better, but the work was more plentiful at Silver Bay, and ultimately that's what we're doing, right? We're here for the work. So whether you're lounging or eating or getting your laundry done or chilling or whatever, Kodiak was better money-wise than AGS was last year. Knack Knack was last year. Now, I heard Knack Knack Silver Bay did, made a killing last year. That's just something I heard. So all this is moot if you're going from Silver Bay to Silver Bay. But if you're going from Silver Bay to AGS, buyer beware. AGS struggled last year to bring in some, some fish. And um, the only saving grace were the amenities. So, But I am going back. And those of you who are going... I'll see you there. Come say what's up. Um, I'll be in Vegas for another, I don't know, month and a half maybe at the most. And um, hopefully I'll get my itinerary. As soon as I get my itinerary, I will uh, let you know when and where I'm leaving. Okay? Next video will be about the galley because some people had questions about what the galley's like. And their galleys are two different. They're different based on season. And location and i'll talk about that in the next video all right so thanks for tuning in sorry about the lighting um feel free to leave questions or comments this is dale from winger world and i'll talk to you later peace